the leader of the Attitude Era, the Rattlesnake. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin looks prepped and ready to stop a mud hole. The Texas Rattlesnake is ready for a fight. Undeniable, unstoppable attitude. We're about to raise some hell, gentlemen. Stone Cold Steve Austin may be the greatest superstar in WWE history in the opinion of many. Now Austin's opponent has a tall order tonight. And his partner from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the A true showman, Shawn Michaels is always dressed to impress. Yeah. From Michaels' perspective, he is the wrestler of the decade an unparalleled talent. It's a bold claim, but when has it eighth became been bold? Well, if you ask me, the first step to becoming a true all-timer is to believe it yourself. Opponents come looking to take Michaels down a peg, but he's always ready to prove he really is the best of the best. A one-of-a-kind athlete. Here comes Scripps. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 180 pounds, Scripps! Scripps came up the hard way in St. Louis, and now he uses those street smarts in the ring. Add that to his ridiculous acrobatic ability, and Scripps is one tough competitor. The nightmare has returned. We thought Bray Wyatt had controlled this part of his psyche, but we were wrong. The Fiend is back. This entity known as the Fiend has seemingly become invulnerable. A two-time Universal Champion. I challenge you to find anyone in the business with more effective mind games than the Fiend.
The Fireflies remain, but this version of Bray Wyatt is completely detached from the WWE Universe. And that makes him even scarier because The Fiend will stop at nothing in his quest to spread fear throughout the WWE Universe. An absolute master of mind games, almost impervious to pain, nothing can stop The Fiend. Here we go with the tag matchup the WWE Universe has been salivating for. As we get this battle underway, we're about to see Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels. Well, they will be facing some fierce tag team action with Scripps and The Fiend at Bray Wyatt. You know this is a tough match for superstars who don't play well with others. You really need to find a way to properly mix your skills with your partners. Rips timed that one well. section for the record Saxton you and I would never have that kind of chemistry hey I'd be a great teammate I've seen you trip over your own left foot no thank you rearranging the face with a stomp oh. tagging his partner in now oh close line And now there's an opening. Oh, thunderous headbutt. <laughs> Setting it up. Oh. oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. As the arm bar stretch in. Was stretching out the arm. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. Bolt on. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Just insulting. Great reversal. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. And that's the kind of offense that can send the fiend back into the shadows. Gotta hurt. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Ah, oh, got Austin back. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Jawbreaker. and building up speed. Can he do it here? And they're still in this. Are we about to witness the end for the Fiend? Austin! Victor the gun and a stunner. Austin got all of it. down. What a kick out at two. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And Austin is in a state of disbelief. Thought he had this match in hand, but it will continue. He went right into that turnbuckle. Look at it in here. This could be it. And he only stays down for a one count. 
refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Uh, using a turnbuckle to neutralize their opponent. And I like it. That defiant mentality of Austin being met in kind right there. Yeah, now that could be something the Fiend can build off of. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Tucks his tail between his legs and gets out of there. So much torque on the knee and ankle. From a seated position, this takes tremendous power. Seated suplex. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Tossed into the corner. Solely focused on... Oof! For scripts. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here are your winners. The team of Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels. And Steve Austin is the one to put this one away for the team. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. Meachin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meachin! The HBIC of WWE looking to carve a name for herself and leave her mark on sports entertainment. Look, there's no doubt Meet Shin has all the tools to do just that, but can she put them together and reach the top?
Well, she's ready to get in there and put someone's lights out. Well, at least we know Wendy Chu's going to sleep good, no matter the outcome of the match. And her partner from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu. Well, Wendy Chu doesn't want to hide her uniqueness, so she chooses to embrace it. Plans on waking up everyone to her potential. I disagree. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance she sleepwalks through this one. Ronda Rousey is here. Clear the way, folks. Here comes the baddest. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. She went undefeated for a year in WWE and is ready to continue her domination. Rousey's not paid by the hour, and I got a feeling she's going to end this quick. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. From Nitro Girl, the manager, to one of the best competitors in women's division history. Just as lethal as she is lovely. And from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacy Keebler. Sure, Stacy had her detractors back in the day. I'd just call them jealous. Well, we do know that Stacy's always ready to kick up the intensity inside the ring. Well, Stacy Keebler is certainly taking a unique path to superstardom. Yeah, she did it her way. Tag team match underway. Bragging rights in the division are on the line. Highly competitive tag team division in WWE. Winning this match will go a long way in separating yourselves from the pack. Saw that one coming. Comes in off the tag. Uh-oh, oh. jawbreaker! Call the dentist. <laughs> Connects on the kick. Oh, oh man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Oh, and she got out of there. DDT. Party's over. Good night. She faked her own. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Easy kick out there, but they'll get... Playing possum! Whoa! Playing possum! And the referee stops the count before two. She's still in this one. And that was an effective attack, guys. Oh, that's a hard kick. <laughs> kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. Ow! in the corner. Tag is good. Off the tag. Double team action on the way. Oh, oh. Get into a big boot. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Oh. Breaker. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that could break an arm. Caught sleeping, as it were. Ronda just so well versed in the art of combat. 
It allows her to get the best of her opponent. Oh, that's just an agitating thing to do. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Nice Japanese arm drag. Stacy's number there. Super kick in the corner. Ouch. And she's stunned in the corner. Oh, jaw shattering. If their opponent's oh. legs. Oh. Oh. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. She's beginning to flag a little. A ferocious Wendy Chu coming out here. Face first. Ah, oh, the reversal by Chu. Up on the shoulders. Down in a hurry. She gets it. Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Smashing the face right into the ground. Ooh, look at her answering back. Perfect. She can end it here. And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Check out this power. Deadlift gut wrench applied. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Rousey averts the attack. There's a rowdy buster. She gets the tag. Shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Oh, well, look out. Splash! What impact? Is that what it takes to beat Stacy? Oh, my God. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Arm ringer. Their opponent in a compromising position, but... They're going to have to try to fight out of this. Body shots connecting. Put into the corner now. Here comes. With the sleep drop. Now tagging her in. She's staying elusive. Tag is good. Off the tag. Double team action on the way. Oh, right into a big boot. Boom, on the button. She's starting to drag a little bit. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? 
Fighting tooth and nail back and forth for supremacy. This could be anyone's match. War waging on. The battle yet to be settled. Meechin dodges out in time. She's pushed into the corner. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got it scouted. Ronda Rousey with a takedown. Look at the cinch in the arm. And she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. The opportunity there just got denied by the rope break. There's a tag. Oh, solid kick across the back. Finds a counter for Stacy. So she tags in. Fed's press takes him down. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Hit butt to the back of the neck. Here we go. Suicide dive. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Stiff shove that creates separation. Maybe get something else going. Jaw shattering boot. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. And it's a double count out. Not the way we wanted to see this end. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. You should never do that again, because these two are Japanese legends continuing a legacy in WWE. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, the world tag team champions, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. Gentlemen, it is prime time. And their opponents, first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds. Cedric Alexander! A man with C4 in his hands, rocket launchers in his legs, a truly dynamic competitor. He first turned heads as a cruiserweight. 
hit another gear in the Hurt Business, and now he's on the rise. Yeah, Cedric Alexander is a very accomplished competitor and won't hesitate to go after anyone. The real Apollo Crews is here. And from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! Made a return to NXT, joined the main event scene there, and is doing the best work of his career. Always had the athleticism. But now he has a drive like never before. I think we're going to see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills. Now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. The OC out here ready to handle their business like they've always done. This could easily turn into a brawl just the way the OC likes it. As accomplished as everyone in this group is, they all understand that sometimes you just have to scrap to get things done. That's something you have to respect. There's a lot of heat between these teams. I expect some personal shots to be taken in this one. I think the personal shots began before the match even started. And now it's a matter of what team can keep a cool head towards victory. Side. Suplex into the pin attempt. And he easily stops the ref's count. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Power slam. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Tags him in. Turnbuckles. We know what's coming next. What more can be done at this point? He reverses it. Ooh, talk with the suplex. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Grabbing a hold of the arm. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. back. Elbow puts an end to that. Brutal short arm Larry. Tag switching it up. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Vicious right forearm. Good golly, Miss Molly. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Counter on Anderson. Pays off. Big back body drop. Had that one scouted. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, he retaliates. Ooh, ho, ho. Anderson's toughness was called into question by that offense. Apollo just made it clear he is done playing nice. Superhuman. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. 
Right to the kidneys from behind. Drape upside down in a tree of woe. Caving in the abdomen. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. He thinks he has it. He gets the shoulder up in two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Oh, the world's strongest flag. And that has to knock all the wind out of you. Power slam. Hoisting your opponent up is the hard part. And gravity does the rest. Keeping a loss at bay for now. What a headbutt. Vicious. Now that'll do some serious damage. He's in off the tag. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. Set up in the corner of the ring. And responds with a counter of their own. Not the position you want to be in right now. Face first. And Alexander with a taste of his own medicine there. some tough hits now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. And the cover for the win. This is it. Somehow escaped before the pinfall. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Uh -oh. Reversal on top of reversal. Mistake made by Cruz. Sent into the corner. Boom! What a right gosh. Paying it right back with a reversal. And again. In off the tag. Extender. Ah, uh, setting them up for Fisherman's Buster. That's it. Cedric just ended things. Ah, uh, finally, monumental victory. Here are your winners. The team of Cedric Alexander and Apollo Cruz. This
This loss has to be something of a downer for the OC tonight. Gives you hope for the future of the tag division. Great tag team action on display, guys. This is one of the most complete competitors in the history of sports entertainment. A.J. Styles. One of the most influential competitors of this generation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ's out here to remind everyone just how phenomenal he really is. Still performing at such a high level after over 25 years of competing. Yeah, Cole, at this point, AJ's forgotten more about this business than most will ever know. Six foot four, 350 pounds of range. Opponent from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga. In terms of look, attitude, ability, Umaga is unmatched. Man, I don't know about you guys, but Umaga always gives me the heebie jeebies. You're not the only one, Saxton, one of the most intimidating, terrifying competitors this business has ever experienced. It's go time. What a major challenge. I would go as far as to say this might be one of the biggest challenges this superstar has ever faced in his career. The Samoan bulldozer, Umaga, raring for a fight in this one. The bell just rang, and already he can barely contain himself. Umaga is as bloodthirsty as ever. Certainly looks that way. Umaga is out to cause some carnage. But you can't overlook the man he's facing, A.J. Styles. An unmatchable combination of tenacity and high-speed offense allows A.J. to turn the tables on any opponent, even when they have the size advantage. It's all about heart with AJ, his fighting spirit. AJ knows deep down that there's no obstacle he can't overcome if he works hard enough. He's burying elbows in the midsection. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Can't prepare your face for that. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, cover, cover. Gets the shoulder up. Not a very effective pin attempt. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. 
There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, that's oh, that's that's gets to the ropes, and that's going to cause the ref to break the hold. Counters that. Gets out of there in a hurry. Held in a perilous position. Down on the windpipe. And AJ reverses. Oh my goodness. There's the... Ooh! Impactful knee drop. What elevation. What kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a no disqualification match? A ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon. Look out! Close line! And Omaga on the receiving end of that attack. AJ never afraid to deliver with some extra ferocity. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. And he goes for the pin. And there's the kick out. He's far from finished. ends that. His match is, of course, just another entry into what has developed into a feud of historic proportions. Few superstars have ever loathed each other like these competitors do. Styles going down low. Can he hang on? Try it with all his... Are you kidding me? Elbow, what a counter! He turns it around on Umaga. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. He's got a kendo stick, a weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. Ooh, right to the arm. Evades the attack. It's not even a challenge. Effective arm drag. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Oh, what a counter. Here it comes. Somebody spike. We've seen that win matches for Umaga. And he's still in the game. You do not get a moniker like the phenomenal one if you just lay down and go out easily. What perseverance from Styles. And I think we all know this is only going to make a monster like Umaga even angrier. AJ evades that one. I'll tell you this, guys, no competitor here is looking to give in. It's going to take a lot to end this fight. We are just seeing sheer perseverance. Nothing is being left back. AJ capitalizes on that misstep. Salt for the win. There's two. And got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Umaga enraged by the result of this one, furious over this loss. AJ did what he does best, and that's put on a show for the fans. Well, he also won. And he does that pretty well, too.
Guys, I am feeling the power of Tazawa. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Kobe, Japan. Weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! Yo, know, Tozawa has had a reputation for goofy antics. Hey, remember when he beat JBL at poker? Yeah, but don't be fooled, Byron. Tozawa is a technical wizard and has stamina for days. He's a threat against any competitor. Gentlemen, the ninja battle is about to begin. One of the greatest superstars in United Kingdom history. And his opponent, representing the Hart Foundation from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. He's got a body as strong and as formidable as the castles of his home country. Unmatched power, incredible physique. The Bulldog has crafted himself into an intimidating opponent. Made his debut on the independent circuit of the United Kingdom in 1977. Has influenced countless superstars of today. The always entertaining and surprisingly devastating Akira Tozawa. Yeah, Tozawa is certainly a superstar who can back up his threats. Whether it's dangerous strikes or precision aerials, it's always a top effort from Tozawa. I'm sure his opponent is about to feel the power of Tozawa. And across the way, we've got the one and only British Bulldog. A superstar whose bite is just as bad as his bark. Actually, his bite might be significantly worse than his bark. Yeah, there's no room for messing around when you're dealing with the British Bulldog. His pure wrestling talent is enough to give even seasoned opponents doubts about their chances. And an elbow. Oh my God! For the two count. Still no end in sight here. This is punch. Off the ropes. Leg drop. Akira was on the wrong end of things here. An excellent display there of Bulldog's impressive natural abilities. Akira Tozawa is a bit of a live wire who has explosive offense and underrated grappling. Corey, how do you deal with a superstar as volatile as Tozawa? Tozawa has those skills you mentioned, Cole, but he can also be a wild card. If Tozawa's opponent stays patient, they can capitalize when Tozawa makes a mistake. Big impact off the leg drop. Tozawa is struggling to defend himself. This is where patience pays off against Tozawa. He saw Tozawa making mistakes, and he's capitalized. He finally creates some more offense for himself. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Tozawa manages the counter, showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, oh are you are kidding me. Back of his neck. Kick to the gut, misses the Enzigiri. Through the back door, and the second time connects. No! Suicide dive! Whatever it takes to win. Pinpoint precision, right on target. Shining wizard! That's right, Corey. That 
Tozawa's a shining wizard. That's Tozawa delivering like a ninja in the night. Stop in the leg. Just a relentless assault for Akira Tozawa. Yeah, Davy Boy is having trouble fighting back. Tozawa gets countered. Bulldog might be able to start mounting something here. Davy Boy could be turning his fortunes around. That'll jam your tailbone. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Guys, truly, I need to know, when will enough be enough? When is this going to end? They truly want to rip each other apart. I think you just answered your own... Canadian backbreaker submission. Oh, body is not meant. This is a tough one to escape from. Prying the hands apart, but he found a way. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Heading up. He's thinking big. Here we go. Oh, this, this may end it right here, right oh, now. No! Canadian Destroyer. He's in a little bit of trouble now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back. Uh-oh, suicide dive. A roll of the dice, and it pays off in full. Whoa. Oh, impressive counter. Bulldog might be able to start mounting something here. Davey Boy could be turning his fortunes around. Oh, setting them up. Canadian Destroyer. And the momentum's running away from Bulldog now. Yeah, Akira Tozawa is executing his game plan. Through the back door, and the second time connects. Oh, sharp knee. And Bulldog saw it coming. That is exactly the kind of maneuvers that have made the British Bulldog legendary. The British Bulldog playing up for the crowd right now. British Bulldog, look at the power! And this is vintage right here, the Wayne Power Slam! Will Davy Boy take advantage? Cover! Two! He kicked out of two. He is just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? Face first off the knee. That was a big hit, and Bulldog is starting to wear a crimson mask. And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, you oh, he's kidding me. Back of his neck. And there's Tozawa dealing out even more damage. At this stage, you know Tozawa is thinking about bringing things to a close. Akira looking to embarrass his opponent. Look at this. Oh. Suicide dive. That is tossing your own body around without a care taking no account for their own well-being. Jumping neckbreaker, out. From the top, that one fails to land. Missed the mark, big forearm. Thunderous 
suplex comes down. Very effective. Oh, with authority. The kick connects. He's got him scouted. Caught with a punch. Leaving himself open here. Bulldog picks him up the ropes. Oh, power slam. Dezala looks out of it. Looking for the victory. Two. It's over. The superstar victorious after a hard fought battle. Uh, a grab and a chair. No. No, put, put that chair down. Hasn't enough damage been done? Not when there's an issue this deeply personal. But oh, thank, thank goodness. goodness. Yeah, this superstar better thank their lucky stars. This could have been a lot worse. The following is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 501 pounds, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is an art form. Gentlemen, trouble is on tap. And here are your servers. And at a combined weight of 511 pounds, the team of Brooks Chinson and Josh Briggs. A team from where the beer drowns and the whiskey chases their blues away. You would have friends in low places, Corey. Buckle up, it's time for the highlight of the night. When Ricochet is on your screen, prepare to witness an athletic spectacle like you've never seen before. And from Los 
Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! You know, it's just shocking the things that Ricochet can do in the ring. Oh, I'll be the first to admit, Ricochet is a downright spectacular talent. Yeah, stuns his opponents with his speed and nimbleness. Highlight-worthy moments always follow his entrance. The dead man is here, and there is no turning back. Every time he heads to the ring, it is an unforgettable moment. And representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the Creatures of the night are out in full force tonight. Representing an unbreakable bond that the dead man has had with the WWE Universe for over three decades. I've seen this walk for 25 years, and I'm always in awe. The Undertaker transcends eras transcends sports entertainment. A true phenom in every sense of the word. Moments away from doing what he does best, dominating the competition. This is his yard, and there's no turning back now. No mercy. Are you sure there's no turning back? Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with their hand raised is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE. critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then you have to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded of what you're doing. Shoulders down. And still hanging on. That was a long two count there. Oh, his 
shoulders are down. And he breaks the count quickly. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Close line! Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Okay. Oh, and he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. <laughs> Knew what was coming from Taker. Ooh, stick punch. Sometimes you've got to dig deep to compete. Miss timing with that springboard. Many heel kick. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. Russian leg sweep. From the top rope, beautiful drop kick. Will this be enough? And he powers out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Oh! Knees up, just in time. The Undertaker and the Sixteen. Shoot slam from the Undertaker. Stump puller. Construction. That's not very nice. That's not right. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Oh, man, I've broken their back. Ooh. Oh, my God, it falls live. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Into the corner. Switches it back around. Bagelser. Vicious right forearm. Undertaker saw it coming. Boom. <laughs> Strong Irish whip. Saw that. 
Vicious right for him. for one of the best teams around with that win. Show up, get the W, and get out. Not a bad night's work, I'd say. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds. The WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. The champ does not want anyone making their name at his expense. He plans on fighting hard tonight.
We are about to see something good. And his opponent from South Carolina, weighing in at 500 pounds, Big Showstopper. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. And here's a champion who has turned a lot of heads. Holding a title will do that for you. Whether you're defending the gold or not, there's always extra eyes on the champ. Question is whether he can handle the pressure of representing his title tonight. I have a feeling we're about to get our answer. His opponent better be ready. It might be a non-title match, but this is a great chance to make a statement. You have to think the champ is aware of falling into a trap because if he isn't, the vultures will start to circle very quickly. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. <laughs> Answering back! Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Oh, oh man, inverted backbreaker. Set right into the corner. Textbook scoop slam. Nicely done. What a barrage. Play in possum. Shoulders down. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. He knows how to avoid contact. Oh, what a chop. And now tying up the leg. Straight to the knee. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Planning on what to do next. Piercing the throat. What the leg? Look at this. He just tossed the leg. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Steer clear of that. He fends off the attack. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Toss back into the ring. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. What an interception! Dragon screw! Ooh Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Taking flight! Oh, misses the mark! Enabled to counter! Oh, no, 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 no! No! Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. In the corner. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Popped right in the face. He's managing to get some control back now. He's showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. Snake eyes. He may be in a bad way here. 
And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. And look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Setting him up for the flat oh, Man, face first. Time to flip it. Oh, switch. Will that be it? Will that be enough? Cover. Two. Man, it has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, Christian Page. This was a truly spectacular win. Yeah, I do not know that I could have picked a winner really at any point during this match. That just made it even more exciting, Saxton, and that is what it's all about. Here comes the personification of longevity and hard work, the 16-time world champion. Well, not just a 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon, and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. WWE United States Champion, John Cena. John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Now, even his detractors have to admit Cena's dedication. He never gives anything less than his very best. From where I'm sitting, he is the greatest WWE superstar in history. His name is John Cena, a 16-time world champion. Creatures of the night rejoice. The dead man has returned. The aura of the Undertaker is one that always intimidates. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Long, harrowing walk to the ring by the 
the Phenom, the personification of evil. Such an ominous and chilling aura when The Undertaker comes to town. This is always his stage. It's always his yard. And if you're his opponent, you know the end is near. You know, Undertaker is a time-honored warrior of the ring. No matter what you do, I'm not sure there's anything that prepares you for The Undertaker. So many superstars have stood across the ring from the dead man, paralyzed with fear. Abandon all hope. The dead man has risen. Here we go, match is underway. The dead man, one of the most prolific competitors in WWE history, is ready to unleash the fires of hell. As far as I'm concerned, the Phenom is the most dangerous entity in sports entertainment. He will do anything necessary to protect his yard. To cross paths with the dead man is like knocking on hell's door. Well, it's all well and fine, but he's still facing off against John Cena, whose strength and perseverance are kind of unmatched. Yeah, you have to be prepared to match Cena any way you can because he definitely... Undertaker. It's going for the Dragon Sleeper. Oh, and he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Man. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Cena gets intercepted. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. A back suplex right onto the apron. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Nice running crossbody. He saw that one coming. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Stomp to the belly. Leg drop. Looks like Cena might not have his head fully in the match at this moment, guys. Taker put that speed and power to lethal use. Made his opponent look worse for wear there. Good golly, what a knee. A nice shot by The Undertaker. Now one of the best strikers in the business. Specifically targeting the leg. Stop in the leg. Oof, pounding the breadbasket. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Able to interrupt the attack. Body shot. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Draped over the top rope. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Tossed around like a wreck. This could be a cover. Just kicks out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Great wherewithal on the counter. Hip toss. This could be big. Going up high. Oh, backdrop suplex. Point of the elbow finds 
gives the mark. Undertaker is going up top. Watch out. Picture perfect leg drop from the top. Looking for the victory. Two. He put him away. He picks up the win. Here is your winner. The We saw the dead man send John Cena straight to the fires of hell. This is going to be a good one. Yeah, I believe so, Byron. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Oh. This superstar's in no condition to compete. Not at all. What the hell? And now he wants in, and he's going to get it. And here we go, and the fight's underway. Oh, oh, oh. They're oh, on each other. each other. This thing is broken down in a hurry. Well, they weren't expecting this opponent, but they were ready to go anyway. Well, it's obvious these two have a vendetta against one another. It needs to be settled. And hostilities boiled over between these superstars before they even got in the ring. Now we have a brawl on our hands. The animosity between these superstars is just off the charts. I'm not surprised at all by what's happening. Someone needs to get control of this. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh. Thunderous knee lift. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Elbow drop. Piercing. And gets tossed back into the mat. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. Getting set up for something in the corner. Close line to the back of the neck. Lining it up. That'll turn your lights out. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Bruno looking somewhat less legendary after absorbing that blow. Yeah, Barrett's clearly looking to prove that he's still that rough-and-tumble, hard-hitting fighter from the streets of England. From way up. <laughs> Delivers the backbreaker. These two having an answer for everything. Shot after shot. Oh, ruthless striking. What a punch. That hurt. Stalking a downed opponent. And a forearm right to the face. The audacity. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. He's taking this to the floor now. What a boot. 
A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. It's not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good point, Corey. Everyday offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. Bang! And now the blood is starting to flow from the face of San Martino. Tough position to be caught in here. Planted face first. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Far under the face. Ooh I'm not liking Bruno. And here we go. The Boston Crab. Look at the back position. Nicely done. Executed arm drag. It looked like Wade may have been taking him lightly. Got caught off guard as a result. Big time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. Through the clothesline. Good God, man. Jeez Louise. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. What an incredible match, and 